Hello and welcome to Business English Paris. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the word seduction. <laughs> I don't know a thing about it actually, but um, I did cover that word uh, yesterday in on the blog and um, I thought it was very funny. But then I actually found an article this morning um, on the subject of seduction that I thought was really fascinating and um, it's an in ink uh, magazine which is a fairly respectable and reputable publication and the article is called why I use flirtation seduction and feminine intrigue in business I thought ooh la la <laughs> so by the way you know this is one of my favorite books to um, to just, you know, when I want to be ridiculous and I want to be funny and I want to sort of just take a time out, I read this book by Robert Greene called um, The Art of, of Seduction, The Art of Seduction. And it has absolutely nothing to do with work and with sort of your corporate life. But I thought that some of the, the points that he makes can sort of be twisted around um, to a corporate, uh, a corporate interpretation, if you will. However, it could be that I'm just bored and I'm completely out of my mind. But look, I found this article, as I said, why I use flirtation, seduction, feminine intrigue in business in Inc. Magazine. And um, the subtitle is, um, as a business owner, I have the duty and responsibility to use every technique to get my business where it needs to be, and you do too, okay? And it's by this woman named Vanessa Merritt Nornberg, okay? So guess what? Guess what? I haven't read it. <laughs> I powered up my computer, and as I was uh, powering up my, uh, my, uh, my camera, I pulled it out, but I can only imagine um, what she has to say about using seduction techniques at work to, to, to get ahead. And, um, and I would also bet you money that it's not about, you know, being illicit or being, you know, that other stuff. I don't think, she, I, I don't think, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think she, in the article, she's going to advocate, um, you know, illicit things. I think what she's talking about is, you know, using your masculinity or your femininity um, in a way that is going to sort of convince others to, to, to choose you, to give you what you want, which will be in this particular context, you know, your job, your promotions, your salary increases, your holidays, or just some peace of mind, you know, like not harassing you, not, um, you know, discriminating or whatever else they do in, in, in office places around the world these days to, to completely harass other people. With seduction techniques, what I think I, I think she's going to say is that, you know, a part of the equation is you and a part of how people respond to you, how they treat you, how they are with you might have to do with how you are yourself with them. I mean, I don't know. As I said, let's see what she says here. Um, how many salesmen do you know who got golf club memberships to chum up to the right people, okay? Um, how many times have you heard of businessmen taking clients out for a night on the town and incorporating a gentleman's club as part of the entertainment? I wonder what that is, a gentleman's club. I can only imagine, but have you ever been to a gentleman's club? <laughs> I mean, what is that? What goes on? Okay, so, so eyebrows are really lifted at either of these scenarios, I find because they're viewed as mere tactics to advance one's business interests. Let's drop 
the double standard. Mm -hmm. So women should take women to, I guess, uh, ladies' clubs. I wonder what those look like. I haven't been to those either. If a woman gets a vendor to understand what she needs by being flirtatious rather than forceful or closes a deal because she knows how to make a client feel understood rather than defensive, that does not mean she's weak trapped by the glass ceiling or an inferior power broker. Mm. As a business owner, I have both the duty and the responsibility to use every tool in my toolbox to get my business where it needs to be. The well-being of my employees and the health of my company depend on it. For this reason, it does not bother me in the least, nor does it harm my sense of feminism to use my feminine wiles in a way, in any way I see fit. The operative phrase here is how I see fit. Mm. <laughs> okay, so, okay. What do you think about that? Okay, what do you think about <laughs> this notion that um, we can use our femininity or masculinity really I mean I'm sure men are men are also very seductive aren't they I mean how do women end up being seduced because men are completely seductive um do you think though that this natural sort of animal aspect of our nature as people um can sort of be turned around um, in the business context, in the professional context, um, to sort of advance our interests and to advance our goals and to help us to achieve our objectives, but without, you know, crossing lines or boundaries that, um, you know, sort of go take it into a whole other realm that is completely different from what I'm talking about. I'm not even, I'm not sure what she's talking about. I think she's talking about what I'm talking about. I haven't read the entire article, as I said, but you know, I am not talking about um, the illicit side or the corrupting side or the um, destructive side even um, of, of, of being seductive. I'm talking about or I'm really asking, I'm really not even talking about it because I really don't know if it works or not. So I'm imagining that you and I are having a conversation in English because I'm a business English coach, as you should know by now with my buddy also caught. And I'm asking you, do you think that the um, that in the workplace there is a place for seduction and how... How do you think that manifests? I mean, have you seen colleagues use their seductive powers, their femininity, their masculinity, their intrigue, their, I mean, whatever, okay, to, to advance their interests, to advance the interests of their entire organizations, for example? Um, you know, because I think that even, like, politicians and CEOs and, um, I mean, people of in great in positions of great power. I think they get to that position because they know how to seduce others, and not in the sense of you know disrobing someone or you know in that way, but in the way of um, you know getting that person to agree with them, to agree with their position, and to um, to like them, to um, to want to to give them what they they want and what they seek, I think that's what, frankly, seduction is all about. From my perspective, as being able to um, convince other people to um, to give you what you want, <laughs> and in a business context, that um, you know that means something totally different from in sort of an interpersonal private relationship maybe or maybe it doesn't maybe it's the same um thing but that the boundaries are different i'm not sure but 
Francesca, what do you think about that? I mean, and do you consider yourself to be someone who um, knows how to, within reason and with appropriateness, um, seduce at work? Oh, voila, that's the question. So that's it for this particular. <laughs> oh my God. That's it for this particular video. Um, again, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have no subscribers. I have like, I don't know, five visits per video and zero subscribers. So I'm starting to think people think my videos are completely ridiculous. <laughs> However, I do invite you to subscribe because I would appreciate it. Be my first. And um, I invite you also to visit my blog, which is at businessenglishparis.blogspot.com. <laughs> and I invite you to contact me if you um, would like to um, have a business English coach. We will be talking a lot more than um, about a lot more than uh, just seduction, believe me. We're, we're probably not talking about seduction at all, I'm not sure. But um, a business English coach, I'd be happy to work with you wherever you are in the world. I do telephonic um, coaching, okay? And if you're in the Ile de France area, we can also arrange for face-to-face um, -face, uh, lessons if, if necessary. So contact me and uh yeah it, it was my pleasure to speak with you about this very sort of you know slightly risque topic but interesting and fun nevertheless and um see you in the next one <laughs> have a great day